Canva thumbnail tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at how you can get started with building your own attractive and easy thumbnails using Canva. So let's get into it. Now, Canva is a great tool to use for all kinds of design purposes, anything from video editing to designing graphics, illustrations, and thumbnails. Plus, the amazing templates and presets allow you to create a easily customizable version of a pre-existing, you know, tried and tested design by someone else. So let's get into building a thumbnail. Now, we're going to be doing this absolutely for free. You don't require the pro version. However, the pro version of Canva does allow you access to a lot more content and a lot more, uh, you know, design elements. However, you still can make amazing thumbnails even on the free version. So to get started, simply log on to your Canva account. Once you have logged on to your Canva account, you guys will see you have a search bar. And in your search bar, you can just search for thumbnail. Once you search for thumbnail, you guys will see you can even search for Snapchat collection ad thumbnails, YouTube thumbnails, vlog thumbnails, but we're looking for YouTube thumbnails. So once you click on YouTube thumbnail templates, you'll be able to see a bunch of different free and pro version templates available. Now, there are quite a lot of different options from different categories or niches of videos. So you can really find whatever you are looking for in these. However, let's say you like a pro thumbnail, but you can't, you know, you don't want to buy the pro version. Well, if you like a pro version thumbnail, you can easily replicate the same thing with the free version of Canva. So let's take a look at this thumbnail. It is a pro thumbnail, so it's only available to people that have subscribed to Canva Pro. And I'll show you guys exactly how you can even upgrade this thumbnail and build a even better one with the free version. So we even have this one. I think this one looks even better. So I'm going to click on customize this template and this will open up the basic template for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add page and I'm going to remove the background. So this is an empty slate and using only free elements and free tools on Canva. Let's build a similar thumbnail. So the first thing I want to do is add a background color. I'm just going to go with a reddish color like this one. And now I can go into elements and I can search for stripes. So you guys can see there are a bunch of different options. You can go into graphics and you guys can see these ones over here. You just want to select these and you want to increase the size over here. I'm just going to increase the size to the point where it covers my entire page like this. So making sure it covers my entire page, I'm going to place it right at the center as well. So once I have increased the size and now it covers, you know, my entire page, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color and make it a slightly different shade of red. And now you guys can see we've basically replicated the background of our, uh, you know, template that we picked out. And I'm just going to lock this over here just so I don't, you know, move the placement, which can be a little annoying to solve later on. Now, the next thing we want to do is we, if you want to add more texture, you can just search for circles over here and go into the graphics over here. And you guys can see, you can search for circles, grid, and there are quite a few different options. So let's say we want to, you know, really replicate it because you guys can see they have these little circles in this uh, template. So for that, I'm just going to look for the best element to use. I think we want to use something like this. So this is another free element. I'm going to drag this to, to our slide over here and I will simply click on the colors and I will just make them gray and white or just white. And I will click on the element and edit the transparency to be super transparent, so like this. And once I have edited that, I will just place it in the corner just to see if I like, you know, how it's looking like. And once I do that, I can just click on the element, click on Command C and Command V, and I will just realign these. And then I will click on both of them together. And then I can just place these over here and then do that again like this. And I'll Click on the entire grid that I've placed, click on Command C and Command V, 
and then I'll just place the entire grid at the bottom as well. And then I can do this one last time. So I think I'm going to first off group my items. So it's easier to just keep track of all of them. I'm just going to click on all of these, click on group, and then I'm going to do Command C and Command V, Command C and Command V, like this. And just like that, I have like a circular grid pattern. Now, obviously, you can, once you've placed all of them together in the area you want, you can uh, ungroup them. And just take some of the central sections, so these four sections, you can just click on these, click on the transparency, and make them slightly more transparent. So go to one transparency, and you can change the color of these ones as well. So make them like a dull shade of gray instead of making them stark white. And just adjust the transparency, paste that style onto, you know, uh, the other boxes as well. So just click on this, click on your transparency, take it down to three or two, maybe whatever you want. I think I'm going to go with a four and just doing this only on the central section, just like that. So you have this little effect that you get on the sample template. Now, once you've done that, we can begin adding our person. Now, that is what most people think is going to be the most difficult part, but super easy. Just take the image, whichever image of whatever person you want, and go on to remove.bg. This is a free to use tool. And over here, you're just going to upload your image. So I have this stock photo over here, and I will just upload this. And now the background of this has been removed. Now simply click on uh, download, and your download will be completed. Now I'm going to upload this onto Canva. And just like that, the image has been uploaded like this. So I will just place it over here like this. Now, some of you might wonder, hey, how can I add like a white outline to this? Well, that is also pretty easy. Simply do Command C and Command V. And once you have a copy, click on Edit Image and just click on Adjust. Click on Brightness Full, Contrast Full, and then Reduce the Saturation. And then just place this right over your image, increase the size a little, and then just click on layer, do a right click, click on send backward. And just like that, we have a little white outline for our person. Now, after that, you're just going to add your text. Now, to create those text blocks that they have in this template, go into elements and go into lines and shapes. From here, choose any shape that you want. So I think I'm just going to go with this rounded edged uh, square or rectangle. And I'll just place it like so, taking the same format that they have. I'm not going to rotate the first one. And once you, you know, place your entire background however you want it, just click on lock because the each, you know, individual background items can be a little annoying to move. And then just place your square item, increase the size like this, and then we can just add it like so. I'm just going to place it over here like this, copy and paste it, and then increase the size a little. And then I'm going to take the first one, click on bring to front, change the color of the first one to be maybe black, and then the second one is going to be white, and then the third one once again is going to be black. Now, after that, I'm just going to go into text, click on add title and choose a font of my choice. So you guys can use any font. There are so many free fonts available on Canva. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this one over here. It's a league Spartan and I will just add my text and slightly rotate it. And then now I will increase the text size on our second block as it is in the sample. And then just like that, we have created a gorgeous looking thumbnail using only the free elements available to us on Canva. Now on this, they've also added some black shading on the borders. So for that, I can go back into elements to search for shading over here and click on see all and you will see this free shading element. Now, don't worry, this is blue, but you just want to click on this and change the color to black. Then change the second color to black or a just like a slightly dull gray and the third version to a pure black as well like this 
And once you have this shading, you can just rotate this over here, place it right at the sides, increase the size a little. And just like that, you can add this kind of shading to all of your borders to replicate that entire look. So this is how simple and easy it is to create a Canva thumbnail and replicate pre-existing templates for free. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.